Missouri University students say that they were so traumatized by the sight of Trump drawings on campus, they complained and protested. Some students even calling it a violent act. And the school's president now vowing to hunt down whomever wrote Trump 2016 on a sidewalk in chalk. And the school is now offering emergency counseling. I was pretty disappointed. I expected President James Wagner to come out fiercely against this, to stand for uh, First Amendment rights, to stand for this student's right to support one of the major, uh, one of our two major parties' political candidates, the front runner, and he didn't. I mean, he basically legitimized them. But here's the thing. In the past, students have written Black Lives Matter on campus in chalk and received no punishment at all. Back at the book segment tonight, wild controversy at Emory University in Georgia. Some are alleging that the administration there is using electronic surveillance to scrutinize students who may be making pro-Donald Trump chalk markings. To be fair to the university, there are rules against defacing property, but this goes far beyond that. Joining us now from Atlanta, jo Josh Goodman, college Republican and a junior at Emory. So, tell me what's going on. How did this thing start? Well, it all started uh, over the weekend when there were a couple of uh, pro-Trump uh, chalk writings seen throughout Emory University's campus. And on Monday, a handful of students uh, complained when they saw those. They used terms like that they were traumatized and that they felt this was a violent action against them, just seeing a bunch of pro-Trump chalk writings throughout the, uh, the campus. So now they were traumatized. Said, yeah. And these uh, chalk writings, by the way, were not condoning graffiti. But does this happen a lot on campus? People take chalk and write little things on the stairs and on the yeah, walls? Th I mean, it's, this is very common, especially in uh, the middle of campus. P uh, students routinely, you know, I've seen a lot of support for Bernie Sanders in chalk. I've even seen pro Black Lives Matter support on there. I mean, that to me would be more controversial. Did that than raise, simply saying, well, did it raise any controversy, the pro Bernie Sanders it and raised, Black Lives Matter? It raised no controversy. No. It was just another. It was just another day. Someone supporting their okay. cause, and and someone, you know, this all this said was vote Donald Trump 2016, Trump for president, stuff like that. Okay. So this is, let me get this straight because it's, it is a little hard for me and the audience to believe. College students, well, college campuses today at Emory, come out and they see Trump 2016, vote for Trump, right. and then they go and complain to the college president. That by seeing that they are traumatized, they feel they are in danger. Is that? I mean, not just not just complain. I mean, they went, they went, they demanded to speak to him. They went to the administrator's office. They held signs. They dis they they were disruptive. I mean, they they were loud and they were they said. But what did that the president do? And the president, I I think that he legitimized their cl their claims. I was pretty disappointed. I expected. President James Wagner to come out fiercely against this, to stand for uh, First Amendment rights, to stand for this student's right to support one of the major, uh, one of our two major parties' political candidates, the front runner, and he didn't. I mean, he basically legitimized them. He basically How did he legitimize uh, conceded. That? Well, he said, well, he, he did a number of things. He said that they, that they, we should value and honor their complaints. He also, he also said that we should not dismiss what they are saying. I mean, what they are saying is that you are not allowed to support Donald yeah, Trump okay. at all. So, I mean, but I also understood that he said he's going to review security camera tapes to see if they can catch the Trumpites. Is that true? Right. He thought, he thought, he said he will use uh, the security camera footage on campus. To, uh, to nail the culprit, basically. Nail them and how? I mean, are they going to get in trouble? Are they going to get double secret probation? Is Dean Wormer I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how. I mean, that, that you can, you'd have to ask him. Well, that would be something. Yeah, yeah, that would be something. The protesters you know. are demanding action. They're saying that They're this is... What kind of action do the protesters want, Josh? I'm not even sure. You'd have to ask them. They're, okay. they're, they're saying they're very upset. They feel that this was triggering is a term they use yeah. a lot. They feel, they feel that, this, uh, that this is racist against them. I mean, one even said that this was a violent action against them, if you can believe that. that I cannot someone believe it. Trump, but, well, and that's why we do it to see for yourself. All right. You keep us posted. If any action is taken against any student, we want to know about it. And we appreciate you coming on, Josh. Good luck. Will do. Thanks for having me, Bill.